Hello everybody, this is Somnia Salarum. I'm here for a bit of a build tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to automate the crystal growth accelerators. Okay, so here's the situation. You've got these fluic seeds, these uh, nether quartz seeds. You want to be able to put them into the growth accelerator right here uh, and not break that glass. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. It, it, I'll fix that up in a, in a second here. Uh, you want to be able to put your crystals in the water here. So if we... Um, did it actually freeze? It did freeze. We must be in a uh, cold biome here. Uh, water bucket. Um, actually, this is going to be awkward. Let's go here. We'll put that there. I'm going to put one of these up here. Sorry, just let me fix this up. Okay. So, here's the situation. You want to set up your crystal growth accelerators. Uh, and you need to have your device turned on so that these will actually grow the crystals. And then you also want to be able to automatically put the items in and take them out when they're done. Uh, you want it all to be done through your crafting computers over here. Um, so this is what I'm going to help you do today. So all that you have to do, uh, well, all <laughs> there's quite a bit that you have to do, but let's get started. Um, so the first thing you're going to do, you're going to have your AE system coming in here and you're going to have a separate circuit for the AE stuff. Um, now, what you're going to want to do is probably, actually, could probably break that, and let's go ahead and put that there, and let me just grab a few things here. Okay, so you're going to want to put a toggle bus right on that circuit, uh, and you're going to want to have it sort of separated from the rest of your, your circuit. So now I can come and if I get a, a lever, oh, not one of those. Okay, so let's say I take a lever and I put that there, I turn it on and all these crystal growth accelerators turn on. Great. Um, so now we just need a way to get a signal right here that turns all of these things on. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard, uh, but first off, let's get our system to output uh, into um, this section over here. So we're gonna take a chest. So what's gonna happen is the, the AE system's gonna put the items into this interface, and then it's going gonna go into this chest. Now we're gonna set up a little bit of a a strange looking <laughs> setup here so I've got a storage bus on top of the first the top chest here and what's gonna happen is when an item gets put into this chest it's automatically going to be imported by this bus here and stored in this chest this is the only storage unit that you have on this little sub network and we're actually going to power it uh, with an extra bit over here um, we do need um, some fiber though. So let me just grab that. I only need one really. Uh, okay, I can go ahead and take this. And now all I need to do is, this will transfer power, but not data. So I'm going to just set this up like that. And now this little subnetwork is working. Um, and what I can go ahead and do is, add some level emitters so that as soon as um, certain items go through here uh, I'll be able to emit a redstone signal uh, and you guessed it those items that we're going to be uh, using are the seeds so let's go ahead and grab uh, one of each uh, and we're just going to set up our level emitters here Okay, so it's just going to go like that, and then we're going to want to emit a redstone level when it's above or equal, I believe. We'll put it to 1, so then that will turn off. 
And now we put that one there. Set it to one. So as long as there's one seed in there, it's going to emit a signal. So let's go ahead and test this. We put a Certus Quartz in. We get Certus Quartz there. Sweet. Um, so that's our first step. Uh, now let's get this configured here. So let's do this part first. So what we're going to do, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> uh, well, that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to take your second, um, your second import bus. You're going to need two for this build. And you, you just have this set up just like so. Okay, so you set up your cable so that it, it comes across just like this. And then you have a formation plane just right here. So now as soon as anything gets uh, put into that item there, it's going to be dumped into this water automatically. Um, so I will go ahead and demonstrate this. If I enclose this, that should stop the freezing, hopefully. We'll see if that works. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so let's see if this does what it's supposed to. It's going to have... The emitter come on and then it's going to turn off as soon as the item is pulled out. Oh, but that doesn't have power. So we're going to have to change things up. Hold on. Okay, we need power. So let's go ahead and stick a quartz fiber there. And now we can just one. Uh, that doesn't work actually. Something like a cable anchor there. Quartz fiber like that. And then that goes there. So that's powered. It has two devices on it. It's a little subnetwork. It's getting power here, but not data. That all looks good. So what we should see is that turns on, then turns off, and the item gets dumped into... It gets dumped in there, I believe. Should be, at least. I don't know what happened to it, actually. Oh, it got picked up here. <laughs> Okay, I had this set up for the next part, so let's take those out for now. Um, so this is going to be how we take the items out. We actually might want to change this up a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to change this up. So I'm going to break that. And I'm going to go ahead and do this over on this side here. And the reason being is I'm going to want to have some, uh, some pipes coming in over here. Okay, so this is our system to get all of our items that we put into this chest. They're automatically going to be spit out over here. Um, so now we just need to configure the right patterns here. And we'll be able to request crafting over at our terminal over there. Uh, but now we need to turn on the crystal growth accelerators. So luckily we have these signals um, and we're going to go ahead and use those signals. So let me just configure my toolbar here. And uh, I've got a little bit of a redstone circuit uh, planned. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's bring one of those out just in case. And then these items here can come down like that. Okay, so we're going to start with... Um, an OR gate. Uh, it should go this way. And we're going to connect these up. And then I need some um,
So let's look up. Let's grab a bunch of those. Okay, so that's just to enable us to place different red alloy wires without actually connecting. Okay, so these all come into one single OR gate and that anytime we have one item going in there it's going to generate um, a redstone pulse here. Okay, so once this signal comes on we're actually going to want to take the inverse of this signal. Oops. Go this way. Uh, so that's going to output high when it's on low. Uh, and now we can go ahead and go into another OR gate. Um, this one's going to be slightly different. We can set it up just like that. All right. And then we're going to put it into a toggle gate. And that's going to go through to a timer. So now this I can set up to be uh, as often as I want. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and take this output here and send it back into the OR gate. Let me just double check that I've got this configured right. Okay, I actually didn't need that uh, NOT gate there. <laughs> um, so that's how that goes. And if I go ahead and come over here, I'll lay down just a strip there. And I should be able to just run this wire right over right over there. Oops. I do need to get a NOT gate there though, because otherwise it'll turn on uh, when it, we don't want it on. So now I can configure this to be as much as I want. So let's put it up to like 200 seconds just to give us uh, enough, enough time here. So these are all properly configured. Um, and now I can go ahead If I place these three seeds in there, they turn on the circuit. So you can see my seeds have been placed in there. And I have... Yeah, and I have the crystal growth accelerators turning on. And this timer is going to control how long you have these these um, growth accelerators on. So you won't be using too much energy. It will be just the right amount. You can tune it so that it's the right amount. Uh, and now we're just gonna configure this uh, transfer node. Um, so all I'm gonna want to do, uh, let's grab some pure, let's grab one of these, one of these, one of these. Uh, this is just to configure a filter. Uh, and then I'll also need a filter. So you're going to want to go ahead and make, oops, not an advanced filter, just a regular filter. And now you can go ahead and take this filter and set it to take out pure nether quartz, pure certus quartz, and pure fluix quartz. And now you can go ahead and put the filter in there. Actually, my name. I think you put it in here and then you put this in there and now it will only take out the crystals once they're done growing uh, and then last but not least we just need uh, transfer pipes hmm that might not be ideal but The other option is we can have like a, a 
another chest or something with an import bus or something. Anyways, just have this one over and you won't have any issues where it will send the items back in there. Um, you know, I might as well go ahead and... I can do this pretty easily, so we might as well go ahead and do... like that that'll work and that's configured properly and now we can go ahead and do that perfect so that is a working build and we should have our pure certus quartz and nether quartz and everything is all configured so now all we need to do is say the pattern is one to one configure that let me just get these uh, set up here. All right, so now you can go ahead and put these patterns in there, and now they're available to our crafting setup here. So now if I don't have any of these, I can go ahead and request 10 of these, oops, 10 like that, and start. And let's say I want uh, 10 of these as well. So all the court, all the crystals, all the seeds are getting placed in here. I've got my timer all set up right. I've got this redstone circuit turning this uh, whole device on, and uh, it's looking good. Uh, and then that shuts off, uh, so that toggle will shut off because we don't have uh, an ore coming in here. Um, so that is pretty awesome. Those are not on right now. They should be on right now. All right, everybody. So I've made two small changes here. So I added this OR gate right here. So there's basically two OR gates back to back. This one is meant to take a signal from here. And when that signal is high, that one's uh, red uh, or brighter red, I should say then uh, this will also go into this OR gate. Uh, the reason why is because since this, when this signal here is turned on and off, uh, it has trouble, uh, it sends the signal through here again, and that forces this whole thing to, um, to, to repeat, basically. Um, so by sending this signal over, if I have a constant, I've actually remade this whole circuit over here. Um, so I could show you kind of what it does if I do or what it did before if I do This just like this So it works fine for one time and it, it shuts off But then if I do it a second time it actually shuts it off before it's done the timer so what this does is it lets you not have that issue basically so if you turn that it goes through the timer goes all the way around but then it just keeps going because this is constantly on so the way that I found you can correct that is this signal here will go go high and that will force that signal to disappear so if you do that it actually shuts off and behaves properly so uh, maybe just to recap if you uh, have uh, we're following along with me uh, just a small addition add an OR gate here send the signal over to the OR gate and also add this little side circuit as well uh, and that should be all you need uh, other than that it seems to work pretty good uh, the only thing I'm gonna do in my single player world is I'm probably gonna add a button to just activate it without having a signal coming from the AE system. So you can either activate it from the AE system 
or from like a button on the wall. So I could uh, sort of showcase that. Yeah, sure, we'll do we'll do it with grass blocks here. Okay, so let's say this is in your base, and you want to have a signal over here. You can just have this heading over to that OR gate. Just like that. And now I can activate that whole setup with the signal, like that. So now this thing is going when I push the button or when one of these is active. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's the completed build. Um, I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye.